Hello again everybody and welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and enjoying getting stuck into the RC600. In this video I will be talking about the RC Editor which is uh, specifically been created for users of the RC600 and 505 Mark II. Now this is a third party app created by none other than John Moose Taylor who is first and foremost a musician, a fellow user of the RC600 an active member of the RC600 Facebook group, and also a very skilled individual to be able to create this fantastic piece of software to help make life much easier when it comes to setting things up and customizing our RC units. The editor is available for PC and Mac, and if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I will show you how you can save $5 or 10% on the current price of the editor. Now before we get started, do consider subscribing to the channel to stay in the loop as I do cover lots of things RC600 and give the video a thumbs up if you have found it valuable. As always, I really do appreciate your support and I'd like to say a massive thanks to everybody that supported the channel along the way, either by buying me a coffee at the link below, donating a super thanks or just sending kind messages of support. It really does mean a lot and it gives me that extra push to keep making content like this for you all. Anyway, without further ado, let's get stuck into the RC Editor. So first of all, once you've installed the editor, you will see a screen like this one. I'm currently using version 2023.3.12. However, depending on when you're watching this video, there may be a different version for you to install. And John is always working away behind the scenes, ironing out any potential issues or bugs that may occur and he obviously wants to keep the editor as stable and easy to use as possible. Therefore if you do come across any issues or have suggestions on how to improve the functionality of the editor do send him a message and he's usually very quick to respond and fix any problems and deal with your queries. So in order to download the editor you first of all need to go to rc600editor.com Click over here where it says get the editor and you've got an option here to download the editor currently available for both Windows and Mac. So as it states on the screen, you will need to connect to a valid folder location. And I prefer just working from a folder on my Mac as opposed to connecting directly to the RC and making adjustments that way. But this is gonna depend on your preferences. Some people will prefer working from a folder on their computer. Some people will prefer to connect directly to the RC unit in order to make their changes. So I'm gonna to connect to this roll and folder saved on my Mac. Um, this is just a folder that I can play around with. There's nothing important on there at all. So if I do make changes along the way in this video, nothing major is gonna be affected and I can pretty much do what I want. So next to this tab, we've got three options and you can see I'm currently not connected at all. The first one is a history of previous locations of which you might have connected to in the past. The second one is a browse folder button. And then the third one is to connect to the current location. So in here, I can click on any previous locations that I have connected to. In this one, I can go to a specific location on the Mac and this one will just connect to the current location. So if I click this tab here, it will connect to that roll and folder that we were talking about earlier. You can also see in the bottom left hand corner that we can connect directly via USB. So that we use the green button to connect to the RC and we use the red button to disconnect from the RC. You can also see the six tabs at the bottom of the screen, which we can use to toggle through once you've made a connection. And in the top left hand corner, we have another way of viewing those options. So once you've connected, you get these options of memory editor, system editor, audio manager, memory manager, and set list manager. And again, at the bottom here, we can go into them that way. And then if I go to these three lines in the top left hand corner, I can also access each of those options from the left hand side. So now we've made our connection to the folder and these icons appeared. We've also got an additional button on the right hand side over here, which is a quick way to back up our information. So if I just click this button, I've now made a backup of my data. So first of all, let's go into the memory editor. Now, as mentioned earlier, the folder I'm currently connected to is a folder I don't use at all. And I've just created this to play around and demonstrate a few things for you today. So it doesn't matter what I do in this video, I'm not gonna lose anything of any importance. So this is an area where you can make changes to your individual memories, give memories new names, access all of the parameters that you can do on the unit itself. Only this way, you're doing it from a computer and not having to bend down and look at that small screen on the RC unit. On top of this, you can also save your memory changes jump to a specific memory by clicking on the search button here and navigating to it that way. 
or even reorder memories by simply dragging and dropping them to a new location, which is a great feature to have. So moving across to the system editor tab, here you can delve into your system settings, make changes to your input and outputs, change the functionality of the onboard pedals, as well as any external pedals that you might be using, etc. We've got USB settings, MIDI settings, and overall setup of the RC device. The next tab is the audio manager. Now I'm currently connected to a memory where I don't have anything pre-recorded, but this is the area where you can play and stop individual tracks. You can import and export WAV files. You can copy and paste between your tracks that way. You can also remove any unwanted WAV files from your tracks. And also as of today, there's a brand new feature that's been added on this side, which allows you to bounce between tracks. Now I actually haven't updated the software, so it's missing from this version, but you can now bounce between tracks. So if you wanted to move tracks one, two, and three to track six, you can now bounce all three of those tracks to track six and free up tracks one, two, and three, which is another fantastic feature of the editor. So thanks very much, John. Moving along to the memory manager tab. Now for me, the memory manager is one of the most amazing features about the RC editor. So this is where you can easily move your settings around to selected memory locations. So let's say you have a number of loop settings, assigns, input effects, track effects, onboard pedals and external pedals all set up a certain way, and you want to move all or even just a few of those settings to another memory, this is where you can make that happen. Simply select those parameters within the memory manager. So let's say I'm happy copying these specific settings to a different memory location. In this tab at the top, I would select the memory or memories that I would like to choose. So in this case, I've chosen memory one, two, and then memories 45 to 50. Hit the update targets button, update, and voila. You've now moved all of those selected settings to those memory locations, which is again, another fantastic feature of the RC editor. Finally, the furthest tab on the right hand side over here, we've got set list manager. So you can see I've got five different areas where I can create different set lists. First of all, you would need to browse to a folder location where you'd like your set list to be saved. As you can see, I've already got two empty set lists here. So if I just select a few songs and drag them over to my set list, I'll just create a couple of short set lists this way. And you can see I've got sit down twice in this one. So let's say I want to remove it. I click on sit down and delete. And now that's been removed from the set list. I can also reorder my set list simply by just dragging and dropping. And you can see if I right click, I've got a few other options that way I can move things up and down. I can rename, reorder, etc. And the beauty of these set lists is, let's say I want my set list here to start at memory number 15. So that means I've got 15, 16, 17, 18. So these memories will now be changed with the order of these four songs. So I know that if I'm gonna perform a very short set and I know I'm gonna be playing these four songs, all I need to do is simply drag the first song over to memory 15. And it will ask me if I want to paste those four memory locations. I click yes. And you can see now that set list has been created between memory 15 and memory 18. So as mentioned at the start of the video, I said you could save 10% on the current price of the editor. Simply click the link in the comment section below, follow the steps to make your purchase, and the discount will be automatically applied at checkout. In my opinion, the editor is worth its weight in gold. And if you do have that little bit of extra cash, go ahead, download it, and you'll thank me later. John is also working on the app as we speak and has a few other exciting things in the pipeline. So stay tuned for what's to come and how the editor keeps evolving. So that's it everyone. I hope you found the video useful and if so, subscribe to the channel to stay in the loop. Give it a like. You can support the channel through the various links below. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Ta-ta.